Okay, okay. Any of Sonetta's uh, trolls, supporters, whatever you want to call yourself, I want you to leave your comments. I want you to prove and show that what is being said, I'm a liar, I'm taking things out of context or whatever. Now, for a fact, look, and what we're saying here is this man is not honest. This man has no integrity. This man is a parasite. This man is not good for the soul community. He's done nothing. He's taken in thousands and thousands of dollars only for himself. Oh, but he gave you the information. And what did you do with the information? Did you build anything? Do you have a lemonade stand? Do you have a uh, a table on the corner selling DVD? I mean, what what do he do, and what do you actually get from your information and the scholarship? Well, check this out. <clears throat> now, correct me. Because I'm subject to being in error. And I don't mind being corrected. But this man did say a few days or a few months ago, I I might be going to see now, but not right now. I'm very sure he said, well, I'm going to take the advice of my wife. And she says, Sarnetta? Well, she says, Sarnetta, well, well, you need to go back to teaching. <laughs> yeah. Do you hear me, my husband? Do you hear me? What I say to you, my love. Stop. Mm. I said, stop all your beefing. Stop uh, all your creeping. Uh, go back to what got you on board. Uh, go back to the scholarship. Go back to the uh, <laughs> information. Yeah. Get your mind out the gutter. Get your mind out of Nepal Shadar panties. Uh, her panties been around. A whole lot of the way. Yes, indeed. Uh, check out thehakabay.com. Exposing some more of Napasha Da. Yeah, man. Now, look. And this is what he said to his wife. He said, baby, use his right. I'm going to stop all the beefing. I don't know about all the creeping. I'm going to stop all the beefing and go back to the scholarship. That's what Sonetta told his wife. I heard. I could be senile. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> so for a few minutes, y'all, <laughs> for a few minutes, you thought that he was going to keep his word. Well, mm -hmm. and for a little while you thought, I'm not going to be beefing. I'm going to take my wife's advice because she told me, go back to the scholarship, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my, my husband, my Lord. Yeah, go back to the scholarship. Go back to the teaching and uh, stop all the Freaking, uh, I stop all the freaking. So for a few minutes, you thought that he had some kind of respect for his wife. And he going to go back to the scholarship. Because that's what put him on board. Next thing you know, 
Well, he talking about Tahaka Bay wife. <laughs> he talking about Tahaka Bay wife. And talking about a nasty. This man has no integrity. He has no honesty. He's a flip-flopper. This is not the first time that he said, I'm not going to be beefing. I'm not going to be going back and forth with people. Going way back to Hassan Campbell. I'm not going to do all this. But see, this is what he is. He's a troublemaker. He's a mischief maker. He's a chaos starter. So he target Angel Snub Nub 7. I only get 10 subscribers. I only have 10 subscribers. I only get 10 views. You using my content. Now, if you notice, he doesn't prove that. Nobody using your damn contact, your frog looking. Woo! Almost made me go out of my character. <laughs> So he floss flag, he hide behind a woman and using the paw, the frost, the false flag, Angel Snub Nub said. Then his own video, he tell me, everything is gravy. We're going to make things right. We can have a better relationship, bruh. But see, that's a lot of work. False flag, 50 videos at a time. You got to go in and retract 50 videos. That's too much work for these con artists. Lazy bastards. Flip-flop. Not a keeper of his word. In order to keep the brotherhood, in order to show that you got some kind of character, that you sincere in something, that's too much work. They made no attempt. And mind you, still could do it. Retract those, those flags. They ain't going to do nothing because these people are low down, dirty bastards. Con artists, parasites, leeches of the black community. Now you can't tell me about my story. And plus his own video. He said it out his own mouth. I flag, I got in the paw. To flag your channel. And he did it with a smile. He did it with pride. Here's a man that get thousands of views. This is, this is a man that has thousands of subscribers. And he's worried about Angel Snub Nub 7, 10 views. Angel Snub Nub 7, 10 subscribers. You lizard looking. Woo, man. Boy. Mm, mm, mm. Almost make me want to go out of my character. Because I can get foul mouth, too. I can get nasty mouth, too. Hold myself back. He has no integrity. When you're a poor man, or you don't even have to be a poor man, just to be a man, period. There's nothing more valuable than your word. His word means nothing. He has no integrity. He has no character. It makes no difference what Tahaka Bay said or didn't do or whatever. You can't even be true to yourself. You can't even be true to your wife. You made, you told your wife, you said, I'm going back. I'm going to take my wife's advice. I'm going to go back to the scholarship. I'm, I'm going to go back to, to the teaching. But that's not what Sonetta TV is about. That's not what Black News 102 has never been about. It's about Chaos and mischief making and fighting, debating. Hopefully, 
making money. I'm the Don King of consciousness. So Don King sit back in the cut and watch Muhammad Ali get his jaw broke and Joe Frazier get his ribs cracked and all this. He don't have to do nothing. Just sit back in, in the cut and watch them fight and beef and Don King get paid. And that's how Sanetta view himself. Let me put, put uh, Sarah Sutton Seti in the ring, polite in the ring. Let them fight. Let them hate each other. And I get paid. And that's what it's all about. A person who is a hustler. If you notice, a lot of these people don't even talk about their job or the job they used to have. I never heard this man, which I don't really listen to him anyway. But throughout the years, you never hear about their job. They're hustlers. So they went from the selling crack cocaine and using crack cocaine and other drugs and uh, prostitution and criminal activity. And now they found a new hustle because that's all it is. Getting the information because you're impressed by plagiarism. They're not the source. They're getting their information from somewhere. And if you wasn't lazy, you could easily research and get the same information these people had because they don't do nothing on their own. They just plagiarize sources. And they offer nothing from themselves. They have nothing to offer except plagiarism, except copying were well, the teachings of so-and-so. The scholarship of Dr. Ben, the scholarship of Dr. Clark, what Khalid Muhammad said. You get nothing from them. What is your scholarship? What do you actually do? They do nothing. They have nothing to offer. You're so pathetic and such a loser. You just want to hear somebody preach good. Somebody sounds smart. And you suffer from low self-esteem. They make you feel good about yourself. And that's what it's all about. So you went from selling crack cocaine that makes you feel good. Now you sell and peddle so-called scholarship and teachings. And you put these gladiators in the ring. And you watch them fight. You love the beefing, the back and forth and the hate. The disrespect, the chaos, the uncivility. <laughs> this man has no character. He has no honor, no integrity. And you got this woman here, she following up behind. Because she's, she suffers low self-esteem. And she's happy for the crumbs that fall off the table from the Don King of, of consciousness. This, this lot lizard. <laughs> he look like a lot lizard. Oh, well, that's just me. I could be wrong. <laughs>